Hello, welcome to Blissful Divination. I'm Shay. I have another viewer request. And this viewer wanted to know about the Bill Gates and Ann Winbold relationship. And I have to agree with her, like, it sounds a little sus. Okay, like he was dating her or something like that. And then for whatever reason, uh, she wanted to like settle down, I guess, and he didn't want to or whatever, but they still kept in touch. And then when he met uh, Melinda, he got permission from like, I don't even know what's the, I don't even know. And they, you know, they had an agreement that he can spend one vacation with her a year. Lord, Lord, I don't, I don't know. I don't even know what to say there. And wait a minute, doesn't Bill Gates have a history of, like, she was working at his job. How is he preying on his own employees? Okay, that's another st whole question. But <laughs> we're going to program the man card to be Bill Gates. We are going to program the woman card to be Melinda Gates. Well, not even Melinda Gates. Let's, 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 let's not do it. We're going to program the woman card to be Ann Wimbold. And we will program the whole card to be Melinda Gates. And we'll just let the rest fall as it may, shall we? Let's give it a quick ripple shuffle. Today, I'm using the full-size Lisprey Learner's Jack. And here we go, Melinda. Melinda shows up like right out the gate. So let's put her there. Now these are full size, so I'm trying to accommodate them. Especially for those of us whose eyeballs need a little bit of bigger card or our hands need a little bit of a bigger, bigger card. I'm in love with all of them actually. <clears throat> I mean, I don't even know what kind of arrangement that is. I ain't gonna marry you if you don't agree to this. He wasn't, I guess, power. Because I'm telling y'all, y'all, all of this much ado about that. I know, I'm not, I'm just saying, like, how does it seem like he got all this game? Like, where did he pick this game up? Like, I really just, he does not seem like the guy that has game to me. But, okay, so let's keep going. Okay. And we have a beginning or something new. Let's see. Okay. Here's Ann Winbold. There seems to be another man in the picture. Huh. Here's Bill. Hmm. <laughs> I'm gonna turn off the one, let me check. So we're from 19. To 19. Yep, here we go. Okay. Two. Okay, there's some feelings there. <laughs> money. Love of money, huh? Secrets. <clears throat> oh, they just want to tell it. Are we telling it all today? Are we? Are we? Are we? Uh, institutions, organizations. Okay, 
commitment. return more. I'm going to keep flipping guys just because of the sheer fact of when they want to tell the whole 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 story they you know sometimes it's just random noise but they were talking about something important um it it the initial impression I'm getting so far was that she felt like a third wheel she like she came into an already established something Okay, so let's see if we got everything turned over. Okay. Um, all right, let's look at him and this relationship with her. Well, they definitely have secrets. They definitely have secrets. They they have this emotional connection, this thing going on. I wonder if she has any children. New. Because there's another man here. Uh, maybe even children. You know, she's got a life. I don't know. Is she polyamorous? Mm, let's look at Melinda. Melinda was in love. Aww. She was in love. When she married him. When she came into this situation, she was in love. When she came into their relationship. As we can see here, they're battling against a commitment. Like, uh, there's a conflict or battle of why uh, they're not in a legal arrangement or some type of long-term commitment in that way. Like, like you would think, oh, you're going to leave your husband, you're going to leave your wife, or your wife, you're going to get divorced, we're going to get divorced, and we're going to get back together like a, what, a Charles and Camilla? I, I don't know. But there is a no on them having their relationship being like some oh we'll make a pact we'll always love each other uh that's not it that's not it because at this point let me see yeah like they had some sex in the past like it was a past like they have like right now they're not sexing All this talk is being a burden to him. There's like some big organization or this large group of people that um, this relationship. Uh, there's like this organization or this government and they got like some secrets they're trying to stop that cut the cut the secret organization i don't know there's something you guys they did have sex in the past but they're not it's not a sex thing right now or something it's, right now this seems more like business i feel like they vibe. I don't feel like he has. I think it's kind of like that. All of that wrapped up together. Like I'm attracted to you. I respect you. I think you're made. Like there's a lot of issues going on. He has a many, 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 many feelings toward it. But she. He respects her. They respect one another.
She's quirky. She's a quirky one. She has some decisions to make, some choices. Hmm. She's a head of this big organization. I don't know if it's like they need to cut the ties with this big organization or this organization is what's keeping them apart or something like that. But there's this big organization in between them. And I feel like he might be leaving the ties with this organization. He might be cutting ties with them. Because him and her are not even facing the same direction anymore. I think they might have had an issue. Some sort of something. And it might have done from, like, I don't know if she has children, but it might, it's, it's because of something new or because of a child or something. But they they do vibe. Like, they get along really, really well. But right now, that relationship, like, everybody's is kind of making it this big, big thing of something else that is not. It's probably not been for a while in that in that in that respect, but who knows? I don't. There's no sex over here. There's no love over here. Crap! It's not even. I see a, an organization or a government or a secret. There's something here, and they recently kind of went their separate ways a little bit. But <clears throat> yeah, it's it's that that was the past. Hmm. He's moving on forward to whatever else is out here in the un unknown. He's got a lot of, like I said, he got burdens on his mind from other crap. And she's like taking some time to like really reflect on some things. In a relationship. I feel like it started off that way and then it transformed into what it is now, which is platonic. I really feel like, I don't know. Okay, y'all know me about me and leftovers, but like if I break up with someone, I don't see myself staying friends with them. Can you really... After you've had a sexual relationship or something of that nature, can you really just be friends? Y'all got biblical knowledge of each other. <laughs> I don't know. And I don't know how many of y'all best friends y'all got biblical knowledge of, but I'm just saying. Um, yeah. I feel like... Yeah, there's not much. I Melinda Melinda didn't understand their relationship. She really didn't, and it put a hamper. It hurt their marriage because she didn't understand what he got out of this relationship with Ann Benball. And what I'm getting is that he felt like she was his equal or his better a little bit, like like his equal, like he could let his hair down and just be him, like himself, like. Like, he can let his hair down and be who he used to be before all of that. Who 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 he used to be back then. He just, it's like he lets his hair down with her. Like, with nobody else he feels he can. Not even with Melinda, which is weird. But, for some reason, he can't just be himself. Like, there's a, he can be himself, whatever that is. Good, bad, evil, ugly, cute, whatever that is, he lets her see it. She sees it. She knows it. And she's cool with it. But this publicity, this publicity that this is sparking up, all of that, she does not like it. So much to the fact is that she's, you know, like they've, 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 they're not, I feel as though they're not, um, seeing each other right now.
like, and I don't know if it's a, it's a good thing or what, you know, but they had a, an out. They had a falling out about something. And I feel like it's because of the publicity or because of something like some secret. Uh, what could be this organization that came between them? Is this his dealings with Jeffrey Epstein? And she's just like, nah, no children? Okay, I mean, something to think about. We're going to have to keep our eyes open. Um, I don't know if we're going to hear much out of Ann Winbald because I feel like from this energy, she doesn't like the attention. She doesn't like calling attention to things like, like, like that, right? So... Uh, we I don't know, but we'll keep our eyes open or keep our eyes open on this burden, this large organization that split this whole thing came between them. So we'll keep that up. And I want to thank you guys for sticking with me to this far in the video. If you were entertained and you like what you saw, please give me a thumbs up. It really helps the channel. If you're interested in a personal reading, please check the description box below and you will see my website there and you can see what services I offer, prices, and even book from the site. If you are interested in owning the L'Esprit Learners deck, check the description box below and you will have a link there to my shop where you can order the Learners deck for yourself. And as always, guys, elevate and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.